Today we're going to show how to create an AutoCAD electrical project. Um, unlike uh, normal AutoCAD, we need to create an AutoCAD electrical project to be able to manage and monitor all the drawings that um, get that get created. So that when a fresh installation of AutoCAD electrical is done, you'll see that we've got some of these uh, projects that's already been created. So in your project manager, if you do not see your project manager, we can go to our project tab up over here. Okay, some of the, the commands do not work unless you've got a drawing open. So I'm going to go up to my project tab over here and select project manager. Okay, this opens up the project manager over here. Okay, so what we're going to take a look at now is how to create a new project. So just click on this little drop down over here. We've got a new project. First thing it asks me to do is create a new project. So my first project. And it's going to ask me where I want to save it. I'm going to save it in the default location, which is under my documents, under my local user. The, we're going to create a folder with the same project name as well, or you could create your own project uh, folder name. And then what we can do is we can also copy settings from a project file. And these project files uh, will be something that we set up already. So if a project that you do have, which has got a sort of schematic symbols that you've already created, um, or information from the client that you've already, already created, which you want to use in a new project, you can go and, and copy it from that. So to do that, we can go and copy it from a .wdp file, which is uh, the name of the project file we've got over there. Under descriptions, okay, we can go and put descriptions, and these are used for your report headers and title block updates. So we can go put in there something like uh, MGFX, uh, two out of four, and line three would be Okay, so now that information is available um, in any reports that we are going to pull out. You can obviously go and insert these descriptions later on as well. Okay, so now what we can also do is go and uh, edit the basic project properties. So you'll see there my first project has been created. And over here, you'll see on the couple of tabs over here, we've got um, ways to go and choose where we want our schematic libraries to be. Um, you'll see that it's just taking the default from, from what I've got over here, uh, from when I installed um, on, the, on, on this laptop. Okay, so once we've got all our cross-references, wire number styles, and drawing formats, uh, we can select on OK, and it sets our project up. Now, to get this project really up and going, you can see that we don't actually have anything in there. So if I right-click on the project, you'll see that I'm, I'm able to add a subfolder. If I go to the descriptions on this project, you'll see there that the descriptions I've created um, whilst creating the project are available to me over there. And you can just say, look, I want that all in my reports. So to start off, um, you can go and add new subfolders. So I can say PNIDs. Oh, sorry, not PNIDs. Let's go schematic. Okay. And from there, you can add a new drawing. In this drawing over here, give it a new file, file name, uh, 01-engine. Select a template that you'd like to use. And I'm going to use my AutoCAD Electrical templates, seeing that they are prepped for the AutoCAD Electrical. And then I can go put in descriptions, project codes, installation codes, location codes, sheet values, drawing section, and subsection. And once I've done that, I can apply my project default settings, which I, uh, which I created when creating the project, to that drawing over there. Okay, and there we go. So I've created my very first project, my very first drawing, and we are ready to hit the ground running. Thank you very much for watching.